Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had looked into a map method is called compute. In this, in this video tutorial, we are going to look into a map method is called compute if present. So this method has been added in JDK 1.8 and you can see the signature of this method. This method is a default method. So definition is already available in the map interface itself. This returns you a generic object and that uh, accepts argument like key and by uh, function interface so that is very much similar to the compute uh, method right so this function is similar to compute function however the difference is that uh, the compute function adds or modifies an existing entry whereas this function does nothing if an entry with that key is not present Note that this function also removes an element if the new value computed from the past lambda expression is null. So code I have already written offline and I will try my best to explain you over here. So here you can see I have created a map with two entries, right? So key one contains a value Java, key two also contains a value Java. Now if you try to print this map then this will print two entries right these two entry will be printed now map dot compute if present so key one is present over here and key one we are basically we have written a lambda expression over here this lambda expression because uh, you can see uh, compute if present accepts a second argument as a by function and by function has a apply method right which accepts two input arguments and these two input arguments you can process and finally you can result some other object right so here basically what we are trying to do we are just taking an old value for this key and just concatenating we just we are trying to concatenate is a script right and for key two just we are trying to concatenate framework so for key this will give you the in this in this sop key one equal to java script and two equal to java framework right now a map again we are applying the compute if present for key one and this lambda expression is basically turning a null so this behavior will be similar to the previous compute method so here basically key one is present right with some value but uh, but remapping function is returning a null so this entry will be i mean entry corresponding to key will be removed from the map and this will return you the null itself now again we are using we are passing key 3 right that is not present at all in uh, this map so this will do nothing right and this will return, return a null itself now this is bit tricky right so uh, in the case of compute what compute was doing instead of map if you use map dot compute then this key is not present in the map and this uh, computing function returns some non null value then this entry will be added into the map but it's not the case for if compute if present because this key is not present at all right and method name itself saying compute if present so this key is not presenting at all so this will not be added in the map and this will return you the null itself so this line makes difference between compute and compute if present right and this will return you the uh, null if that is not added then this will return you null itself and if you try to print the map then that's this that will print one will be removed because of this line and that will print the two equals to java framework so let's try to run and see the output so if i try to run then look at here so first initially map has been printed with two entries right now after computing if you to print then one contains java sk two contains java framework now all these three sop is returning null so already we have discussed and finally only two will be left right one entry will be left with key two so i hope you understood how compute if present which is uh, 
a default method in the map interface works so i hope you enjoyed learning this this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i am going to specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial